If you want to install Simple Mining OS or SMOS on an SSD and you don't really know where to start, you've landed on the right channel because we're going to go step by step and we're starting right now. Welcome to the Savage Mind YouTube channel. Today we're going to be installing Simple Mining OS on an SSD. So let's just dive right into it. The first thing you'll want to do is connect the SSD that you intend to install Simple Mining OS on and make sure that there's no data on it that you need because this process is going to erase the entire drive and you have to have a computer that has internet access in order to download the image that you're going to burn to the SSD. So let's go ahead and start by putting the SSD into the computer. Now we're, we'll turn the computer on. Should get a little beep there. All right, so that's good. Now let me uh, let me log on here. So then you'll just go to simplemining.net. For this uh, tutorial, we're using an NVIDIA rig. So we'll download the RX and NVIDIA OS image. You could also use this same image for RX cards. So I'm gonna click here to download it. Takes quite a while, a couple minutes. So once it says that it's down, it's uh, done downloading, you can see right here whenever you go into your folder that it still says unconfirmed, so you just have to wait on it. It's gotta go through like a verification process. Once it's downloaded and you can tell it's a zip file, and it's uh, confirmed and everything's good to go. The next step is to download and install etcher.io. This is a um, flashing tool that you're gonna use to burn the image, the SMOS image to the SSD, to the solid state drive. So we're gonna click on that to download it. I'm using Windows 64, so I'll download that version. Once it's installed, or I'm sorry, once it's downloaded, you can find it in your downloads folder most likely. You're gonna right click on it and choose run as administrator. You may have to provide your credentials. Then you'll choose I agree, if you do agree. It's gonna install Etcher. It'll actually run Etcher also. So it's down here. Let me get rid of all this stuff here. All right, so Etcher, you're going to choose select image. So what we're doing now is we're going to use Etcher to burn the image, the Simple Mining OS uh, image that we just downloaded to the SSD that we installed a few minutes ago. So we're gonna select image. We're gonna choose the zip file here that we just downloaded. Cool thing about Etcher, is it knows that the image is inside of the zip file. It's probably why they actually 
recommend using Etcher because it knows you just download the image, the zip file, which is only one gig, and the image is seven gig, over seven gig. So it compresses it really well. Uh, but Etcher knows that the image is inside the zip file. So you just click on that, click on open. Now it wants to know what drive you want to copy the image to, or you know which drive you want to image. So I know that mine is the 64 gig. This is just a, a backup drive here. So I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to click continue, and then I'm going to click flash. It's going to come up with a warning because it's a large drive. It's not like a 16 gig USB or anything like that. It just wants to know, are you sure? If you are sure that this is the right drive, choose continue. And then it's going to image. And if you see this message, then that means that you didn't run etcher.io as an admin. So let's do that. If it runs it after it installs it, and I think it's the default, it'll just go ahead and run it. It might not work. You might have to go back through this and start it as an admin. So after the flash is complete, you would think, based on the instructions on the Simple Mining website, that you can just go right into, you know, it says after flashing, you will see the new, new drive in Windows. So you open it, but if you go into Windows Explorer here, you can see, or File Explorer, you can see the drive doesn't show up. So what do you do? Well, if you go to Disk Management, right-click on the Start menu, go to Disk Management. If you see this right here where it wants to initialize the disk, don't choose OK because if you choose OK, then you might as well start over with the whole flashing process because you're going to mess up the drive. So click Cancel here. And as you can see, there's 59. This is my, gig, this is my 64 gig drive right here unknown, blah, 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 not initialized, whatever. It does not see it. The way that you get it to see it is to reboot. That's what we're going to do. After you reboot, if you go to File Explorer, you still do not see the drive. But if you right click on the Start menu, go to Disk Management, You don't get that warning about initializing the disk this time, right? And what you'll notice is you'll see this layout right here. So you have SMOS config, and then you have this healthy active partition here. You can't access them because Windows hasn't assigned a drive letter. In order to access that drive, 
and you only want to access this small one the nine megabyte fat partition okay so you right click on it choose drive letter and pass and then add you can assign uh, the drive letter that you want we'll just choose g it's just the next one and you say okay now you have smos config g right here now you can click on it and now you can see your config.txt file so now you can go in here and change your email address on the config file for simple mining save that and now you're good to go now all you have to do is shut the machine down again and remove the drive from the computer and plug it into your rig and boot your rig off of it so that's what we're gonna do And this is pretty normal for the first time that you boot it off of a fresh image. Just make sure it's going to start hashing and then we're going to be good to go. Now this rig was already set up on simplemining.net and it's based on the MAC address of the card, of the network interface card, so it knows that this rig, it knows, it, it recognizes this rig, so that's why it's going to go ahead and throw a configuration on it. However you have it configured in simplemining.net, is how this rig is gonna respond. There we go, finally got a line showing the hashing there. 207 mega hash per second for this little six card rig here. So now you're up and running with Simple Mining OS on an SSD. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. I really appreciate everyone's input and comments and likes and shares and all that stuff. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.